Hi, my name's Jimmy Blair, uh. and I was born in a little town called Coleraine in Northern Ireland. But most of you don't know where that is, let alone what it's like. So today, I'm here to show you what Coleraine's really like. Ah, Coleraine, a town famous for its football, markets, and large Polish community. It's a place where everyone knows your name, but also wants to do your knees in. But don't just take my word for it. Here's what the general public has to say about Coleraine. So if you were like to describe Coleraine in one word, what word would you use? As you can see, the coal rain people are one of a kind, with this street pastor even telling me I was going to hell. What a guy. But what do they like to do in their spare time? Well, they like to indulge in some of the local delicacies that include chip shop variety boxes, bottles of Buckfast, and a pack of Sterling Duo. Food isn't the only passion in this town. Football's like a drug. Not because the football centre's got scored. Here next to me is one of the coal rain's finest ever footballers, Bertie Smallcock. Is it a peacock? Sorry, sorry, Peacock. I call that all the time, sorry. Corian is from the Corian FC, one of the most successful football teams in the Northern Irish Football League. Here we are with their home stadium, the Showgrounds. I would take you inside, but fortunately it's closer to COVID. I, mean, I thought it was because you got really drunk that one time and you got bored. Moving on. Admittedly, the weather in Corian isn't the best, with locals even saying it was named Corian after how much it rains. Cheeky fucks. This is why most of the residents of Korean take shelter in the pubs. The people of Korean love spoons. No, not, not for heroin. The pub weather spoons. It was seen as one of the best bars in town. But unfortunately, it had to close its doors in early 2020. Why's that? Oh, because of the uh, high bar taxes, COVID-19, and... Uh, oh, the heroin junkies. Korean, Mia Khalifa, Yerma, they all have getting fucked on the weekends. So much so that if you were to die from alcohol poisoning, you'd simply say you couldn't hack it. Coleraine has a thriving education system, with the average person having at least three GCSEs. And they all learn it here, at the Coleraine Grammar School. Which is actually first in the country for, um... Uh, teenage pregnancies and nicotine addiction. I tried to get an interview with the principal of Coleraine Grammar School. But he said something about a restraining order, and he was going to call the police, so I just left it. So hopefully you get the picture. Corrin's a shithole. 